Okay, here's some word problems that can be solved using that idea, of course. Seven people share a 45 kilogram bag of flour evenly. How much does each one get? This is a simple division problem, right? All we need to do is 45 divided by 7. Okay. But the way we do it, there's different ways to do it. We probably don't want to do it this way, where we leave some of the flour as a remainder, right? I don't think that would work for a bag of flour. But we can use the idea of writing it as a fraction, then writing it into a mixed number. 7 goes to 45 six times. So I have here 6 as my whole number. Then the remainder 3, this can be 3 sevenths. Everybody will get 6 and 3 sevenths of a kilogram. But now, you might say that how do you measure 3 sevenths of a kilogram? That's not how it's done. And indeed, this is true that if you have kilograms, you most likely want to use grams. You, you most likely want to actually not use fractions at all. So, then we can go and divide with long division and get our grams. Okay, we can take the 45 kilograms which is actually 45,000 grams. Divide that by 7 and then we will get the gram amount for everybody that you can then measure using your scales. You cannot easily measure that kind of amount, you know, kilograms. 7 goes to 45 six times, of course. Here we get 42 and then 30. 4 times and then 20. 2 times and then 68 times. It would continue, but I can stop here. I get my amount in grams, 6,428 grams, which is about 6 kilograms and 430 grams. You see your scale, it depends on the accuracy of your scale. This is probably how accurate you will get with normal scales, kitchen scales. Now, 30 pies need evenly divided to 12 tables. Maybe you're a cook, maybe on a cruise ship or something. There's tons, lots of tables. You need to put pies into them. And so your crew made 30 pies. How much pie goes into each table? It's not going to go evenly, okay? This is a division problem. It is 30 divided by 12, okay? Let's, we don't want to have leftover pies that we put to fridge. Instead, we want to, if there's leftover pies, we want to cut them up and, you know, put them into each table. So, I will write it as a fraction, 30 twelfths. And then as a mixed number, 12 goes to 30 two times. And then, that's 24, so there's 6 twelfths left over. Into each table goes two whole pies and then 6 twelfths of a pie. Oh, two and a half pies. Or you can think of it if each pie is divided into 12 slices, then 6 slices out of 12. 1800 light bulbs need packed into boxes, 32 in each box. How many boxes are needed? Now this is again a division problem, okay? 1800 divided by 32. So, if I write it as a fraction, I can, but I still will need to use long division to actually get this. I could write it like that too, but either way, I need to now divide using long division to get anywhere. Let's try it here. 32. 32 goes to 18, 0 times 0 times, okay. 180. If this was 30, it would go exactly 6 times. But since it's a little bit more, it goes 5 times. 5 times 30 is 150. 5 times 2 is 10. So, 160 in total. I need to subtract here. I get 20. Then drop this last zero here. 200. How many times does it go to 200? Okay, 6 times 30 is 180. So I'll guess 6 times. 6 times 32 is 180 plus 12. That's 192. Yeah, exactly 6 times. And here's my remainder. So it is 56 remainder 8, or as a mixed number it is 56, my remainder divided by 32. That actually simplifies to 56 and 1 fourth. Okay, 
Now, there's a trick here. This is a trick question. How many boxes are needed? Are you going to answer? I'm going to need 56 remainder 8 boxes. Or are you going to answer? 56 one fourth boxes. You see, you cannot take one fourth of a box, you know, cut up a box and then send it along. You cannot do that. So, what shall we do? We shall either take 57 boxes, right? And the last box is not full. In the last box, there's going to be eight. Eight light bulbs. Because, notice, this 1800 is the number of light bulbs. So the remainder you get here is also in light bulbs. So there's going to be eight light bulbs in the last box and 57 boxes. Or if you can only ship full boxes, then you use 56 boxes and then you leave your eight light bulbs just laying around. Okay? So the answer depends on what actually they meant by the question. That's why I said it's a little bit of a trick question. And also because neither one of these answers is acceptable as just a number answer. It won't work in real life. I hope this was helpful.